A corporation must appoint a president, CEO, COO, and CFO. It must also appoint a planning committee with four members. There are 12 qualified candidates, and officers can also serve on the committee. Okay, part A, how many different ways can the officers be appointed? So let's read this carefully again. So we have 12 qualified candidates. So we have 12 people total. And the question is, how many ways can we appoint officers? Now, I'm pretty sure we have to assume the president is an officer. So we have one, two, three, four. So two ways to do this. Method one, we can draw a picture. So here's one, two, three, four officers. 12 ways to pick the first one. Say that's the president. 11 ways to pick the CEO. 10 ways to pick the COO. And then nine ways to pick the CFO. So, or 12 ways to pick the first officer. 11 ways to pick this one. 10 ways to pick this one. Nine ways to pick this one. The multiplication rule says it's the product. So it's 12 times 11. Right, there are different positions, so the order does matter. Times 10 times 9. So we, wow, really big number. 11880. So 11880. Another way to do this is to realize that since the positions are different and the order matters, it's a permutations problem. So n is 12, that's the total number of people, and there are four distinct officer positions, so r is 4. So we go to question help. Stack crunch, and then it's data, compute, and expression. Then you just type in perm 12, comma 4. Okay. So that would be the same answer, right? Same answer as before. So perm 12, comma 4. All right, let's type it in. So 11880. Good stuff. How many different ways can the committee be appointed? Okay, so let's see if we can find information on the committee. Here it is. It must also appoint a planning committee with four members. Okay, so B. So again, we have 12 total, and we want four members in the committee. Now, committee members are just committee members. They don't have special titles, so the order does not matter. So this will be a combinations problem, right? So N is 12, and R is 4. Remember, the notation was n, c, r. You have n objects, and you're choosing r of them. So n is 12, and r is 4. In stack crunch, the command is comb, parentheses, 12, comma, 4. Okay, and again, the order doesn't matter because they're all committee members. It doesn't matter who gets picked first. You end up in the same place. They end up being committee members. So data compute an expression. And then comb 12, 4. So 495. So 495 ways to form these committees, right? 495 ways to form the committees, right? So let me type that in. 495. Good stuff. What is the probability of randomly selecting the committee members and getting the four youngest? Ah, here's that question again. <laughs> All right, part C. So you want the four youngest, right? So four youngest. So the probability of getting the four youngest, let me write down here, make it a little bit bigger, is a fraction. Well, there's 495 ways to pick four people from a group of 12. We know that because, because of this. And there's one way to pick the four youngest. You pick the four youngest. So it's one over 400 and 95. And that's it.